If we basically take a long-term perspective and look at the waves of industrial revolution, we can see that they are shortening. So basically every wave of industrial revolution is coming faster than the previous one. And indeed perhaps already the term industrial revolution might be outdated because today we're very much living in a service innovation. Just 20% of the GDP of the industrialized nation, so to speak, is still about industry, the rest is, is service. And therefore, perhaps you shouldn't be talking about industrial revolution, but basically we are right now in the second information revolution and are moving towards information 3.0. Now, if you look at what is happening, it's always technological new possibilities that have driven those industrial or you know, information revolutions. But what we have to acknowledge as well is that it always took a related cultural revolution to benefit of the industrial revolution. So the steam power and water power couldn't have happened, couldn't have been led to productive uh, means huh? without the related cultural revolution of the division of labor. And what we're seeing right now, we are seeing another cultural revolution happening as we move from industry 2.0 to industry 3.0 to industry 4.0 to the first to the second information revolution, we are seeing that the paradigm is entirely changing. Value creation is coming back to people, to smart people, to knowledge workers who are enabled, who are thinking in networks where project management instead of line management, where we don't lead through control anymore, but through trust. Work-life balance is out, huh? it's work-life blending and how we manage ourselves is no more through centralized and steep pyramids, but it's becoming circular organizations with a collegial type of leadership.